Hello there and welcome to another episode of World of Tanks with Ungainly Titan. So we're here on the highway map and I'm on the Conway uh, Tier 9 British Tank Destroyer. Two or three games before I finally unlocked the FE uh, 405. So it's one of my last games in this tank. It's also played under the old physics, it's before the uh, most recent update. Now, this map is not a map that I've had a lot of luck of, on with the Conway because uh, I've had trouble basically keeping Conway hidden on pretty much any map that I've had it on. This lessened over the last couple of games and I suspect it's because that I have uh, I'm starting to get head up towards 8, 7, 8 skills in the tank uh, crew and quite a lot of those skills are stealth related. I'm also sort of getting to know the maps better, I suppose, and the locations in which you can play this tank um, successfully in various maps. That little bit better, which has also probably helped, but I do think it's a tank that's helped considerably by a high skill crew. You need the gun handling skills, and you need the um, stealth skills, if at all possible. So I've set up shop in this particular bush. I have uh, don't think I've used this location previously. It's... Um, south of the, the road crossing the centre of the map and therefore it's uh, more aggressive than I usually like to use it. Now I suppose part of that stems from my experience in the map back in the old days before they changed it when this location was completely exposed to uh, anybody looking in, in this direction. There was no building here besides me and I think those buildings in front of me weren't here either. So I'm basically using the building beside me to cover me from any tanks that are getting into the high ground before uh, they arrive in the town. So we've managed to inflict a little bit of damage and we're now looking around to see what else is available. Now somebody spotted there by uh, the tiger under the bridge in the middle of the um, area up there near the farms but uh, he's out of view range for me, he's over 600 meters kind of fire a few speculative shots in a likely location and then a tank turns up over here now I think this leopard PTA is stuck, I don't know how he's managed it but he seems to have got himself stuck on the bridge because I speculatively fired there, he's still there, and he's in the exact same location now. His turret is rotating, so he's obviously um, knows that you know he's, there's somebody there, so that's, he's in charge of it, it's not disconnected or anything like that. So he's not staying there because he, um, he wants to, he's staying there because he can't leave. Now T29's wandered into view, when we put a hit into him, uh, but he doesn't hang around for the second one. Although he took his time deciding to leave. We're capping at the moment and we're looking pretty good down at the town. Now a tank destroyer has been spotted down here so I speculate that he might be behind that bush. But I see the round splash to the water and I realised that I was wrong. And while I was looking at the T29, the T28 turns up so I actually fired probably to the um, to the left of him. So put one round into him and then I ping a couple of rounds off the front of him and then I realise that the front of a T28 is really really strong and I'd be better off attempting to put a round through the roof which is what I do next and I get a nice solid hit so we're waiting for the reload here and the T28 disappears before we get the last shot off but we managed to finish him off and the T29 makes a break for it across the open field no idea why he decided to do that. Um, I can't see what he could have gained for it. It wasn't like he didn't know there was tanks out here shooting at him. We managed to get some part of the damage there before he gets wiped out and... Now it seems to be game over. And we've done pretty well so far but the tap cap timer is closing up and there are uh, no enemy tanks currently visible. There's a heavy tank crossing over to the north, but I'm not going to reach him anytime soon. So I'll just roll forward and see if I can see anything else um, across the map. T20 rolls forward as well, and they spot an IS uh, 
on the road. So I get around so I can see him past the bridge and just snap a shot off because, you know, I think the game is going to be over. Will I get the other game? So I finally get a round in before the cap circle completes, but just as the cap circle was about to complete, one of our tanks, or maybe more than one, rolled out of the cap circle. That was pretty nice of him, because in these situations people just frequently cap out and they don't care about how the rest of the team might view it, or the fact that there's a couple of tanks left that might be more valuable in terms of kills and experience to the, their team members and t colleagues. So the uh, SU-152 was spotted up here. I put a couple rounds in its general direction after he got unspotted, but I haven't been able to uh, do much in the line of damage. So I'm going to pull forward and see if I can get a better view, because all our team have left the cap circle at this stage and decided to go hunting for the last of the enemy tanks. So I push forward and uh, the SU-152 pops up again and I should have better view range than him so I don't think he spotted me. Put a nice good solid hit trip to him, into him and take away about half his health points and somebody else hits him and then I finish him off. So now it's two remaining tanks left in the enemy team and they're up here in somewhere in this quarter then the AMX 1375 is spotted. In the low ground uh, don't get a shot at him. I thought he might pop up over uh, something as he was driving across there. And I don't have a clear line of sight to the SD-1. But I'm going to try and support the T-20 anyway because uh, I didn't fancy the T-20's chances against the 1375. Um, they're a very powerful little tank and the T-20 isn't a bad little tank but it's not the most maneuverable tank in the world and it isn't, the armour is pretty uh, poor in it really. But the T20 managed to finish off the AMX 1375 and now the only tank remaining is the ST1. And I have a clear line of sight to the ST1. Yeah, he can see me as well, but I uh, probably a better penetration. And also a better accuracy. His gun at this range isn't going to be very precise, so I can't really uh, s snipe at any particular position on my tank. So we finish him off and we have 20 damaging ribbons and we get 6 kills. So it's not bad going, uh, especially for a match that could have ended about 2-3 minutes ago. So as you can see it was actually more impressive. Uh, we have uh, high caliber at 6,461 damage. We have a 1,000 assisted damage which gives us a spotting ribbon and we have an ace tanker badge and the top gun. So I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching and I'll catch you again soon.